This is a drama that was on Hulu a couple of months ago and I was wondering when or if it would get bought by uh, a UK distributor mm. and it turned up randomly with very little promotion. Um, so this is a brand new drama uh, based on the novel from... Uh, I don't know how to say her surname. The surname, yeah. Celeste, Celeste Ng. Ng or, or Celeste Ng. And yeah. it is basically uh, a story, bizarrely and quite off-puttingly, set in 1997. <laughs> it tells the intertwined fates of the Richardson family uh, and a mother and daughter who spend their lives uh, in living out of cars and things and then moving in. Mia and Pearl Warren. Yeah, moving in to an apartment owned by the rich family um headed by reese witherspoon and um joshua, joshua jackson. jackson and as matt says kerry washington plays mia they she, they've she, got she, four children haven't they as yeah. well the richards so basically this opening episode i've seen four of these okay the, the opening episode is about establishing the richardsons that's again reese witherspoon and um Joshua Jackson. That it's just, I can't remember him. Every time he just goes up. It's such a memorable performance. Sorry, yeah. I just... Um, Joshua, Joshua Jackson, Jackson. That's his new name. <laughs> they are. It sets up their dynamic and their family dynamic and their standing within this leafy suburban community where everything's pristine and nice. And uh, she happens to bump into Mia, played by Kerry Washington, this talented artist who works part-time as a waitress and kind well, she of doesn't feel... but i mean i mean the first interaction is when she sees her car yes. outside the office and, and reports her to the police to the, yeah she rings the police to say there's a woman and her daughter sleeping in the car and there's this air of mystery around who pearl really is and uh, what her motivations are and as me, is the me. way sorry yes and so it's about who these people are how they interact and we know already because it's a drama set in 97 but made in 2020 which means we have to see the end and then flash back to the beginning uh, so we know as the title suggests that the apartment that the two rent from them uh, burns down so they're their, is it uh, the apartment i thought it was down. the i thought it was their house oh, no, it's their home sorry it's their home <laughs> This one I didn't rewatch really because I, I knew it. You, you, you watched Sorry, four episodes no. as well. I mean, I, I I feel the the third, you say, as you say, the the Luke special where you get the flash yeah. forward and the flashback, um, was very very clunky in that it set up it's messy. what the yes. what the little fires. Oh, there was little fires everywhere in the yeah. house. Oh, well, I get Ooh, it now. They, they and they also it, yeah. set up that the main suspect is the youngest child of the richardsons izzy who is this outcast who is a violinist i think in the orchestra yeah. but yeah. he's very much going through a awkward phase she's 14 she's, she's a little bit different the family. He's the black sheep of the family i mean they've got four children the oldest two are very like the popular kids the jock and the and the and the sort of the queen bee at high school yeah. they then got a, a a younger son called Moody, who is a slight outcast, I would say, is a little bit awkward, forms yeah. a relationship early, a friendship early on with Pearl, the daughter of, of Mia, who I, I think obviously he's got a bit of a crush on her. And then mm -hmm. she becomes enamored, I think, with the older children and enamored with this, this richer world. And I, I think the ongoing, I, I, I got the impression that Izzy will form a bit more of a bond with Mia, yeah. she sees more of herself in her, like the frustrated artist. Yeah. There's also the idea that Mia and Pearl move around a lot. Mm. So this is the first stable. Yeah. Because they do. Pearl she does happened. initially feel like she's going to go again, and there's this thing about them only painting one wall of the apartment because they never stay long enough to to paint all four walls, and um, she then takes eleanor the the reese witherspoon character up on her offer of a job to be the housekeeper mainly so she can keep an eye on her daughter because she sees her being enamored with this life that she hasn't seen before this rich family all together but it's also got these you know the trappings of suburbia which we saw i suppose in reese witherspoon is playing a very similar character it's to the basically one she the same person in big little lies and 
I will um, walk you through the history of this with me. Okay. Um, so this, I as far as I was aware, normally, if I know that a show is gonna it has a UK home and I have access to it, I will wait because I know we're going to discuss it and at some point I don't want to watch it too far in advance. But when this dropped on Hulu, they dropped the first three. So I grabbed hold of them and then there was just no news on whether it was coming or not. So I, um, I did watch it. And I watched the following one as well, episode four. But my issue with it was, as sort of intriguing as that first episode is, what it becomes more and more, and I don't know if you'll know this term I'm going to use, it dissolves quite quickly in its later episodes, two, three, and four, into what I call a lifetime movie, like a soppy mm -hmm. lifetime movie. It, it puts... I mean, it does have melodramatic elements yes. in this. It's a melodrama, isn't it, yes. is what you mean it by puts that? It far more emphasis on the relationship of the kids and outside of Lexi Underwood who plays Pearl I don't think any of the other kids have really that much to do or are that I, interesting I role. liked Megan Stott's performance in this first episode does she not as, she as Izzy she just becomes this precocious annoying mm. teenager I got the impression she'd be the interesting one you see when you said you'd watch four I immediately thought Oh, you've um, you've no, watched four already since Friday, and no. you're gonna watch watch the rest. But you watched these a while ago. A while ago, and I haven't felt compelled to. I think I'm halfway through four actually, mm. and I haven't felt compelled. I think there's seven or eight. I'm not sure. Eight. And I haven't felt compelled to go back. I also know from reviews I read that it sort of falls apart at the end. So I'm all right, okay. not going back. But I, I just, for me, it just felt too. I, so, I hate to use the phrase soapy because soapy is not always melodramatic. Yeah, it's just over the top yeah. melodramatic. Yeah. These people feel from a, feel from another era. It doesn't feel like 1997. It could be 1957 and, in a lot of ways. And the period stuff was you you forget until you see them watching Ricky Lake or or the Real World or, or... on a massive mobile. Or t yeah, talking about uh, taking a video rental back to the store. Um, for me, all of it was very clunky. Is, is my this is in, this is interesting in that you know you've watched more of these than I have, and yeah. I'm basing this on on the first episodes of these alone. Um, that I from the first episode, I, I felt like this is something that if I, on I've got a rainy day, I might go back to because it wasn't. Shame it's too, June. Yeah, it wasn't too um, taxing. I, I felt it would be the first 20 minutes I felt quite hard. But after that, you know, it's an hour long. I got into it a little bit more. I, I got where it was going. I really liked the two, the, the Mia and Pearl relationship. I, I really yeah. liked Carrie, Carrie Washington, I thought, gave it a good performance in this first episode. I was less enamoured by the Richardsons and those actors, yeah. apart from, as I say, Megan Stott, I really liked in this first episode. I'm a little bit disappointed, that, as you say, that when it goes on, it gets... Yeah. She, she just leaves. And, and I don't know whether this is in the first one, I can't remember, but Pearl... Pearl works as a wait. No, Pearl. Mia works as a waitress. You know and she the, works as a waitress. Yes, and there's a later on, I think in two or three, there's a really weird subplot with the with the Chinese girl that works. I with read her. sort it of takes the up an awful at, lot of time. I and, read sort of the outline of what happens in yeah. the book because I, I I felt to myself. I'm probably not going to be watching this, but let's see where it goes. And I yeah. think actually from reading, like I said about um, normal people, that it, it, that ending felt quite open-ended. This mm -hmm. did as well. I can see people liking this. I suppose, again, it didn't really have a hook for me. No, the, it's, another, it's another case of really talented in front of the camera and you just expect more, I you liked, know. I liked the character, as I say, there were characters that I liked. I liked Mia, I liked Pearl, and I liked Izzy. So that was more than Space, Space Force, Force had going for it. The intrigue, I suppose, is A, who are the Warren family? Because there's a scene towards the end where Elena hasn't checked the, the references that Mia's given her. And yeah. she gets a call quite late at night to say, I've never heard of Mia Warren before. Mm. So that's the that's the intrigue. Is it Izzy who set these fires, or maybe it's Mia? But I I just didn't feel it had enough like Big Little Lies had. It's 
nothing we haven't seen before the discrepancy between the rich and the poor the underbelly of suburbia the rebellious daughter i think we've seen this done better even recently i suppose there's elements of sharp objects which had a stronger mm. feeling of the community you felt that sweltering heat straight away whereas i i i felt this was all quite bland quite I sort of watched generic the... suburbia there wasn't a lot that i hadn't seen before it yeah. was it was and very I watched it the, the the four i've watched or the three and a half that i've watched i sort of watched it willing it to get better mm -hmm. and, it, and sometimes i do do that and, and I so you've given it a, a good chance yeah, i feel and like i normally I yeah. would trust your opinion on on most things and i think recently with the exception of possibly quiz if you haven't gelled with this then i don't think i will and i was on the fence anyway so i think yeah. maybe if but... you like moody there's lots of moody in the next two episodes <laughs> <laughs> also they call him moody but she refuses to call izzy izzy because it sounds weird and yet they call but the they say moody. moody is a nickname that's yeah. not his actual name, but they never reveal what his name is. I know. Everything, yeah, that annoys me more now, I think, about <laughs> it than, uh, than most of the stuff in the show. Uh, little Fires Everywhere, all there for you to stream or not to stream. That's your dilemma. Yeah, but don't listen to us. What do we know? No, what do we know? Amazon Prime Video, it's all there now.